How many people here believe that God is great? How many people here truly believe that God is great? I tell you, if you are in doubt of that, just begin to recall some things in your life. Amen. Where he has saved you. When he delivered you. All those narrow misses in your life. What could have been and what should have been? What might have been? Hallelujah. That you can say, had it not been for God. Hallelujah. Had it not been for God. I can testify as a Nigerian and say, God, had it not been for you, there would have been bloodbath happening in our nation today, in the nation of Nigeria. Anytime I think about how it happened, I was still on phone with someone today and we're just talking about it. She said, even the Muslims were saying this was God. I mean, she was speaking. I called her, you know, speaking with her from Kano. And she said, people are already, you know, people who fled. People who didn't believe. When we stood there, amen, from last year declaring, standing like Shama, hallelujah, defending the field of lentils. Bible says that everyone fled, but Shama stood in the middle of that field. And he defended that field. And the Bible says that God gave victory. You see, when you stand in there, God will give the victory. You know, these are months of breakthrough, isn't it? It is our month of breakthrough. That's a prophetic word. Amen. It's our month of breakthrough. And I tell you, breakthroughs many times do come when somebody dares to stand in there. David said, God has broken through by my hands. He has broken through by whose hands? By his hands. By the hand. That means when David stood there, when David went out against the enemy, God broke through by his hand. Praise God. And she was saying to me, she said, the flights are so full coming to Kano that someone said, I've been trying to come back, but you know, the flights are full. I said, well, maybe he should stay some where he is. Amen. Some long, some more. Hallelujah. I tell you, God is awesome. God is awesome. Whenever I think about things like that, things that could have been, things that should have been, Bible said, had it not been for God. Bible said, let Israel now say, hallelujah, had it not been for God, the enemy would have run us over. The waters of life will have swallowed us up. But thank God for God. Can someone say thank God for God? And that's what we are going to be saying all the time. Thank God for God. I tell you, God has not asked us to seek Him in vain. And you want to know that something is already happening in your life. And I'd like us to appreciate the worship team. Let's put our hands together for them. At the shortest notice, they put something together. Amen. Let's celebrate them. Hallelujah. God is good. I just want to bring us a word of exhortation. And we are going to go to praise too. Are you ready? I hope nobody's tired. I hope nobody's tired. Bible says in Isaiah 40 that the almighty God, have you not heard? He never gets tired. He never grows weary. Glory to God. And the Bible says that he, that those who wait upon him, will, that strength shall be renewed. Jesus. 
Jesus. We thank you for the cross. We thank you for the cross. We worship you. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All hail, King Jesus. Oh. Hey, the boss said, the 
Sotto. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus, every knee bows. Every tongue confesses that you're Lord. Every tongue confesses that you're Lord.